Tyson Fury, I, I know I, earlier we were talking, you said you were happy for him when he beat Klitschko and everything. I know he, you know, he goes on Twitter and, and Instagram and he fires shots at you guys and this, that, and the other. Um, but, but I feel like, I feel like you're general, you, like you're genuinely rooting for him. Like you really, really want him to come back. Man, I love, I love Tyson Fury. Man, I love all those guys. Man, I love, man. Like I got so much love for the for the for the for the for the, for the sport. You feel me? So when you have a, when you have love for the sport, you can't do nothing but love the, the, the participants that's in the sport. But on the same on the same on the same line of saying that, you still gotta have a competitive mindset too. Mm -hmm. You still gotta be like you know, shit. Every king still had love for something, whether it was a queen or whether it was a servant. So if he won with down, he wanted to be entertained. He had to bring the joke in. He loved that. So a king and me, he nasty. He got to be a ruler. He got to be the line of the, of the jungle. I'm a line of my jungle. But at the same time, I still show love. I have love. I still have a feeling. Every good, every bad got a little love in him. I mean, every good got a little, every bad got a little good in him. Mm -hmm. Anything bad got a little good in him. Mm. So that's how that's how I am. I, I I I love these guys that's in this sport. We risk our lives in here, man. Mm -hmm. So you know, at the same time, off all out of the ring, we show love. We show respect to each other. That's how it should be. Some of some of you can't show respect to because they ain't showing respect being or being respectful to you. And you gotta humble this motherfucker down first. Mm. And mm. sometimes it costs a little getting in the face and starting a little commotion where everybody hug around like it's an outside playground. Sometimes I tell you that this is what we do. That will keep us alive. Mm. Don't be scared when you see it. Just enjoy what you see. And when the fight happens, you better pay your money to come and see. Mm. You feel because they finna risk their life. They finna risk their life. Somebody finna get real. Uh, get finna get hurt bad. So you know when spirit do things like that, you know. I understand in the business. My mind says in the business like shit. I'm finna get back at him because he getting at me. Mm -hmm. But. Personally, I don't take it personal. If I took everything people say personal, I'd go crazy, bro. <laughs> I'd go so crazy. Mm -hmm. That's all these Brits that be on my page talking. They are hilarious. <laughs> I They're can imagine. They're hilarious, man. I laugh. I, it, for all my haters, I, I, I appreciate you. Some of you motherfuckers, you go too far, don't have to block you. But some of you guys, I swear to God, I laugh at your stuff. Keep it coming. It's motivation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, and praise God. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause I love it. I mm -hmm. love it, but it ain't gonna phase me. My, my skin too dark, bro. It pop off. <laughs> I'm blocking. <laughs> I'm blocking. Mm -hmm. I got that off spray on me. You mosquitoes. <laughs> got a bite on my side. I got that off spray on. Me. Mm. I love it, but Tyson Fury, he, he's you know, I, personally, I don't think he's coming back. Though. He's too big, man. And when he talks, if you see you hear him talking and stuff, he sounds like something wrong with him. His, his voice, his that, throat. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I ain't liking that, man. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. I ain't weird. liking that, man. I, I, when I heard him say that, man, you know, I, I started feeling bad for him, you know, because he can still accomplish a lot. Mm -hmm. I, but ultimately, I think his ultimate goal was to be um, Vladimir Klitschko. That was his ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. And he don't have a desire to really do that. He still talk because he's trying to stay relevant. But I don't think it's. I don't think he had the desire no more. I don't really think he had that fight. Although he still talk. Now I love for my friend to come on back in. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I think that that's it for him. I think that's it for him. How in the hell you gonna get all that weight off like that? Mm, yeah. It's gonna take. You know how long sometimes it takes to get weight off like that unless you do surgery. Mm, months. And then you still trying to recover from that. It takes a while, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It take a while. I done had some big women in my family. I done seen them work almost all their life out inside that way off. But somehow they just, the age, they caught up with them. They couldn't keep it off. Mm. It's too late. Not enough exercise. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With a big man like that, they're going to take a lot because he can never get down to his, his, when he wasn't that big, he still struggled with weight. Right. Now he's allowed himself to increase even more. You think he's going to be able to get, hell no. Mm. Doubles it. He's, hell no, man. And I, I don't like that for him because he's still undefeated. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at the end of his day, I mean, at the end of his career, his kids going to look up back and say, daddy's legacy was, you know, 
he did this and this. He was undefeated. He always wanted to beat. But see, they gonna know the inside story because he's gonna still be telling when he when he get old. Cause that's his pride and joy. That's his baby being from having the cliff though, man. Mm-hmm. That's his baby. That's his pride and joy. <laughs> if somebody say, "What are you the most proud of out of your life?" If you can name just one thing, he'll be like, "There's only one." Tyson Derry! <laughs> That's what we're gonna start out with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're right, though. And then you always say, when I whooped my daddy Chris Goyard, I told him I was gonna do it. And then did I beat him, you know, or this bump, I, you know, I'll let you see you talk about that. <laughs> Yo, you, gonna be I don't think he's coming back. Yo, you, I don't think he's coming back. You do a good Tyson Fury impersonation, though. <laughs> man, I've been hearing him all, man, for four years, man. We've been at each other. Mm. Well, yeah, I think I want to party. I want to party with him, man. For real? I want to party with him. Tyson Fury. Yeah, man. I he, mean, he look like he can party. You see this man personality, man? This little person, you cannot teach that personality. He's born with that. Mm-hmm. I've always been, I, I bet he was a hyper little, little rascal when he was young. Mm-hmm. I can't even tell you it. He's just a smart alley. Can you see him? Just look out of your friend. Make me go. You know, just, I can see him. Oh. Don't go in there and mess fish with any more Tyson. You hear me? I'm going to whip your boy. This boy went in here and fish him two sandwiches. What's he telling him? I'm not going in that fish way. Look at him first, bud. <laughs> he's, he's winning. Got two jerseys. And still eating, eating it while he passed her. And looking at the Roy Hatch, that that's the roll of her eyes while he did. I can see he probably one of them kids. <laughs> that's what he's putting out there right now. That's why it's good for boxing. That's why I would hate to see him leave because he's good for boxing. Right. He's, you know, he's good for boxing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I want to still fight him too because we ain't did all that work for them. I ain't said all that stuff. I mean, what I say, Tyson Fury? Mm. You, I meant with every word that I said, every cuss word, every, I'm going to whip your ass, and I'm going to hurt you, I'm going to punch you. I, I meant every bit of it. I got I to gotta be a man of my word, man. <laughs> please don't. Please don't let me lose being a man of my word, man. Come on, man. Get yourself together, brother. Mm. Get yourself together because you're losing yourself, man. You're going to want that being that bed. That's going to be that bed. It's going to be your home. <laughs> That'd be a that damn shame. Be your home. Mm-hmm. He getting bigger and bigger, man. I'm just, I still, you know, so hopefully he get together, man, because we fighters, we care about each other, man. We, you know, some of them don't. Some of, some of them I don't give a damn about. Mm-hmm. But I still help them out if they were stranded on the side of the road, you know? Mm-hmm. 